Right, well, there we go. That is everything tidied up. So now it's time to work on the body blend. Wonder where that could be. Ah, oh, how convenient. Look like it turned up. So, what do we have here? I have. Not just one. But a two piece body blank. That is, an old body. This was always the intent to get an old body because not only is it lighter in colour, it is also lighter in weight. Now, this thing is huge. I'm going to show you. Okay then. So, what do we have here? What we have. As I say, it's a very large blank. This is actually big enough for an explorer. Now, why did I need a blank for this thing? The main reason is because I wanted to know the body. Because it's lighter in colour, so it's going to contrast really nicely to that. But also, once it's cut out, it's going to be lighter in weight. Now, this thing is heavy as hell at the moment, obviously, because I've not cut it or anything. But, allow me to just put the top one on top of it. See what I mean? Even with this excess piece here, there you go. It is more than what I need. Now, as I mentioned, this is a little bit bigger than a standard headstock, so I may have to enlarge it. What my craftiness is going to be, I might take some of this excess here because it's going to be very close to the original headstock wood to make the extra pieces. Now, as I've taken this apart, you will notice that there is a little bit of a height difference on the wood itself in its thickness difference. So as you can see, this side is a little bit bigger than this side, which is a little bit irritating. However, I'm gonna surface route this down ever so slightly anyway. So that it's not literally, as you can see there, this is 46 mil thick, plus a 15 mil top. You know, it's kind of going to be really thick if I leave it like that. So first point of call though, I just want to test and see how straight the joint is and figure out what figuring I'm going to have. So let's mess about with that for a little bit. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, so here's myself. Now, originally I had this sort of flipped the other way around. It wasn't going to work because of the short length of my bottom bearing around a bit. So, this piece will not move. Like, I can't move it because of the weight. But what I've done, I've got the factory edge of this piece of MDF. This is one that I haven't touched. It's still a factory edge. So, here's something longer. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this particular round bit from Trent to cut along this line, you can just about see it here. So this is the annoying thing, it is ever so slightly off the imperfect. So because of how close it is, I'm going to take off a little bit more material at this edge. So it's gonna it's going to line up once I'm done. So because of the awkward camera angle and everything else, I'm just gonna get cracking with the rallies.
it's not 100% perfect, people. Uh, I messed that bit up there. Luckily, it's past the neck pocket. But it's better than it was. So when I first came to this, this gap was massive. It looks pretty big there, but it's not. So once I get some wood glue in it, it's all gonna be fine. Pretty much the same thing happened on my Zelda build, and you can't even tell. So let's get to joining this bad boy together, shall we? So, it is all clamped up. I've made sure they've got equal pressure on either side. These guys aren't over tight. You know, they're a bit... Yeah, they're all equal pressured. This vice does move, as you'll see here. It's got a bit of movement in it. But I'm gonna have to wait, the sheer weight of this, I can't risk picking it up yet. Because I don't wanna mess anything up. So, yeah. It's going to have to stay in the vise for a bit. I'm going to go underneath and just double check it, secure it in a bit further. As you saw at the end there, I grabbed my ruler just to see if there was any flex in it. There's like a little bit of a gap here, kind of. It's ever so slight, but the most important thing is I put this on and that little flex pretty much is non-existent. I mean, I know I'm not holding this on to the extent that I will be doing, but it is very close. So... That's it now for 24 hours. Got to let this bad boy cure, and thankfully, because of the weather in the UK at the moment, it's not going to be horribly damp, so I'm not worried about leaving this in here. It is set to be really hot, so I'm safe to leave this in here with the dampness that I've got in the shed at the minute. So, for now, I'll see you guys in 24 hours. So it's been just shy 24 hours, and you will notice doesn't have any clamps on it, so I tried to re-secure my vise, but I've only got two screws at the front, can't reach the back, so two screws. And I just had this horrible feeling that I was going to come in today and the vise was going to be on the floor and the guitar was going to be on the floor. So, after an hour or so, I came back in here, put it on top of this piece of MDF and left all the clamps on and then left it whilst I went to work. And thankfully, it is now ready to go this thing is solid as a rock there is a little bit of a gap still but this is the front edge so obviously the top's gonna hide that and the back edge there's a tiny bit of a gap but a little bit of sawdust and some wood glue fix that right up but this connection is solid as hell I can't do anything to it so I'm quite happy with that. And this side is still lovely and flat. Exactly what I wanted. And yeah, it is running nice and straight. So let's talk about it. Let's get it rough cut out because I, I, I can't wait for this one.
Right folks, unfortunately the footage messed up there. Uh, I used my old phone to record and I completely forgot to play the cache data on it. So, kept saying that my storage was full. As soon as I rebooted it, it was fine. But you didn't see me get it to this point. Apologies for that, there's not really much I can do. I've, I was just kind of in my own world recording. But one thing you did see and I've kept in is me freaking out a little bit because the motor on this almost burnt out. It is really hot still now and I've not used it for a bit. So I saw the blade spark a little bit and then as I looked at it again I could see a little bit of smoke coming from this and it, can, yeah, it smells like burning. So I'm not going to use that. did use circular saw for a little bit of it. But obviously there's limitations on what that can do. Try cutting it by hand, but that hand saw is horrible because I ended up catching myself with it. So this is as close as I physically can get it with the tools that I have. Um, as I said in the beginning, if I had a bandsaw and all that kind of stuff, this would be easier. I think the problem with it was it's just too thick. But you see, I want to utilize this wood further down the line, not specifically just for this build, but there is that much excess, I can use it for other stuff. So I didn't want to reduce the thickness of the entire blank and not be able to use this again. Now the annoying thing is, because of how thick it is, you can see it there, it wasn't thick enough for my circular saw to go all the way through. So, yeah. I'm just going to tidy up a little bit, take a break. And the only way really to do this without spending a lot of time with a chisel is to attach the template and slowly route it down. Yeah, that's the plan. So let me get everything set up and we'll get going from there.
it's finally here. It's finally done. SBH Fishtail Mark 1 is now looking so nice. There are some horribleness, like there's a lot of chunked areas, there's a lot of ripped out areas, and stuff like that. And also, if you sight down this, I'm trying to get it into you. You can see that it kind of bevels down here a little bit. That is more than likely my jigsaw struggling to keep straight. So obviously it's curved in a bit. So with a lot of sanding and a lot of soup glue, eh, sorry, sawdust and wood glue, I'm not making the same mistake twice. I should be able to fix this now. The only other thing is, I did mention I had to, I'm gonna have to level these off because obviously that side is a little bit higher than the other. But also, once I got this cut out and realized, well, that was lovely. <laughs> once I got this cut out and realized the thickness, I remember that I'm gonna have to surface wrap this down because with this top as well, you're talking 61 mil thick. That's way too thick for a guitar, especially a flying V. With this in mind, it means that I can reduce this body down by 15 mil. The nice thing about that is, that brings me just shy of where all this horribleness is here. The bridge we're putting in this guitar, overall the body has to be 45 mil thick. For those of you out there, you may understand what bridge I'm putting in it. And for the eagle-eyed amongst you, if you saw my plans, you'll definitely know what bridge I'm planning on putting in it. But, so if all together it has to be 45 mil thick, I'm going to be smart and leave myself a couple mil wiggle room, so I'm going to reduce this down. The grand total is 33. Which will get rid of all this horribleness and make it look a lot nicer. And it also will help the weight as well. So that is the thick next job, is to get Crash to come around, feel this, Honestly, the idea of using older, absolutely perfect. I mean, I can hold this with one hand now. I mean, I can barely struggle. I can barely hold one half of the blank with one hand. So once I reduce the thickness, even adding this in, which this is light as oak, still not going to be too bad. But I'm going to get him to hold it full size, no surface routing. See how it feels because if he wants the weight reducing. I can do that, I've got space to be able to add weight room. But, whilst I've been working on this, something else has arrived that I am very excited to open. But that's going to be coming in the next episode, so for now, all my socials, link down below, follow those for updates, because there's a few bits I've done on this that you haven't seen yet. In the description as well is the link to my profile on the Guitar Build Up website, but please Feel free to go over there, help me raise money for two amazing charities. For now, I'm going to go open this package. See you guys soon.